What's up Tenno? Hello and welcome to another build video on Warframe. Today I'm going to share with you my Warburn Prime build that I use on arbitration, mobile defense, defense missions, steel path incursions and even if I have to go solo and do alchemy. This is the best Warburn Prime build you can ever imagine. Let me begin with the shards. So I have two top watched armor shards. Why? I'll tell you later. Two Parker Velocity shards. These two shards make Warburn a god, a Flash Gordon. That's why I named it Flash Warburn. Because of these two shards, the Warburn becomes so much fast, it can even beat Wukong in its Cloud Walker. One Tau Forge for ability duration. Normal versions will still do the trick, but this is the maximum squeezed output you can get from shards applied this way. Coming to the belt, I have helmet applied on first ability. You can apply helmet on the third ability. Sometimes I like to watch Photon Strike, I just enjoy it. Now for Aura, I chose Brief Respite to give me a little bit of shield effect. If you want, you can swap it for anything you want. A good replacement will be Steel Charged because you are using Carnus Carapace mod. If you are using melee weapon to kill enemies, then you get immunity to status effects for 2 seconds. And this comes up as a Carnus set bonus on the top right. You will see it every time you kill an enemy with a heavy attack from melee weapon. So imagine a situation. You have your fourth ability active. All the enemies are getting sucked into that ball. Then you simply do a heavy attack kill enemies you are immune to status effects so any enemy if it has those elements like toxin or nullifiers or heat you are immune to status effects as long as you kill those enemies trapped in that bobbins black hole it is really exciting you will see it in the gameplay as well i am immune to status effects the only thing left is health and we have a very good health economy with these three mods and if you look at the armor and remember i placed two armor shots because if I get armor value of 1000, I am able to use Arcane Battery. Yes, Arcane Battery gives you 0.3 energy. Warburn already has 225 energy by default. And if you use Arcane Battery, it gives me a very good amount, even more than Prime Flow. So I get a good energy, 542. And with this build setup, you will be able to enjoy Warburn the way you always wanted to sucking all the enemies in a black hole and then just boom you can use photon strike to see and enjoy the extra effect and i used first ability as energized munitions in the helmet the reason is kuwa Ocris. yeah baby you know it this kuwa baby what she can do might watch napalm because it burns the ground and by burning you need heat element it's obvious 60 percent best max cap corrosive heat if you are grenier or if you're going against corpus you can try viral heat magnetic gas but viral heat was better in case it was corpus you have bob sucking all those enemies with his fourth ability and then you have kuwa ogres burning the ground and then on top of that you use your melee weapon like glaive prime to do heavy attack and kill enemies immune to status effects isn't that amazing try it out yourself mold reconstruct because i need to heal myself every time i put that ball in or I use energized munitions and since efficiency is 100 and energized munitions uses 50 energy so 50 multiplied by 6 is 300 I get 300 health back every 8 seconds if you look at that because I will be activating this and this Warburn will never run out of energy because you already have a immunity to status effects health is taken care of by mold reconstruct you will be spamming your energized munitions all the time there is a build which gives you max range 280 but I have tested that and it really is weak on survivability but if you want to increase the range, you can swap out Umbral Intensify. I am using Photon Strike as well, so I kept a little bit of strength. This is a boom baby, a black hole, a flash wobble, super fast tanky. Don't go by my words, try it yourself, Tenno. Any companion of your choice, it can be Smita, but I would recommend you use Shade Prime because since Warburn deals all the damage with his abilities and because of a Shade Prime build like this, you are invisible. Until and unless you don't use a weapon to kill an enemy, you will remain invisible if you are in the vicinity, this range, 24 meters. So that's it, Tenno, for the build. Don't go by my words. Test it out in the field yourself. And let me know in the comment section, did you enjoy this Warburn or not? I bet you will love this Warburn's mobility, speed, sucking in enemies and then killing them. Boom! With Kova Ogres.
that's it 10 for the build until next time bye bye gg enjoy take care have fun